There was a pig who was big and pink, who weighed himself, which made him think, I'm far too big. I need to be slim. He thought it best to try a gym. He made for his door, but got stuck inside. He couldn't get out. He was far too wide. You need a new house, said a passing sparrow, for your front door is far too narrow. So through a window, our pig did jump. He landed outside with quite a bump. He rolled to town towards the gym, a determined pig with lots of vim. He arrived at a desk and paid over his money to a very thin horse and a tough looking bunny. They pointed the way to a thing for rowing. He took one look and said, I'm going. Stopped at the door and forced to go back. He was strapped in tight. He soon got the knack. He lifted weights, at least he tried. But all he did was dent his pride. He lifted the smallest, but something went crack. He did the right thing by putting it back. Aerobics classes? I'll give it a try, said Pig as he squinted at a poster up high. Pig came to a door and opened it wide, but his eyes were not ready for the sight inside. Hundreds of animals pounding the ground, up to three to the disco sound. The floorboards creaked, a trainer was screaming, the flesh did wobble, the sweat was streaming. That was it. He'd seen enough. He left the room and gathered his stuff. In the shower stood Dave the dog, who told our pig that he should jog. Wear a headband and some pumps, and in no time you'll lose your lumps. So that night, he lay in bed. Lots of thoughts were in his head. A padlock on his cookie tin. He began to dream of being thin. In the morning, when it was dark, our piggy friend was in the park. He jogged by the bushes and he jogged by the trees. He began to feel tired and started to wheeze. He started to wobble and stagger about. And into his head, there came some doubt. He stopped for a while. On a bench, he sat. What's wrong, he thought, with being fat? For tossing capers, it can't be beat. For Japanese wrestling, it's really neat. For being cuddly, it is the best. For keeping warm, it passes the test. Thin's no good for baritone singing. It doesn't help much for church bell ringing. Furthermore, with a large belly, you can sell the space for ads on telly. You can wear big suits with wide-brimmed hats, play blues and jazz and get called fats. So that was it. Pig went to bed. He'd convinced himself of what he'd said. All puffed out was our porky friend. His slimming ideas had come to an end. There's still a pig who's big and pink, who weighs himself, which makes him think, pigs are pigs, and pigs are fat. And I am a pig. And that is that. Thank <laughs> you.